All right, Argo. You want to show them what you found? Might be a little out of breath. I've been hustling, hustling to get up here. Where is it? Well, you already see, but we're here by the power plant. And I do not know the name of the salty, <laughs> but it looks like they are carrying wind turbine blades. So let's take, that's what they look like to me. Those are long blades, look at that. Wow. No idea where they're going. Got some gulls yelling at us here. here. Let me see if I can... Over this way. Oh. That's new. Wow, they've been doing a lot of work down here with carbide dock. And uh, I've not been down here for, as the kids would say, a minute. There we are. I'm, the way I have the phone through the gate, I can't see the screen very well. <laughs> There's a big bar blocking my view. There we go. Now I can zoom in. D-ship carriers. I do not know who that is. I don't know if you can hear that droning sound in the background. I'll be quiet. I think that's coming from the hydro plant. Not the water sound, but the droning sound. Argo keeps pulling on me. We got some geese over there yelling at us. Got gulls over here laughing at us. And uh Interesting salty here. I imagine they're not super heavy, those blades. I'm looking at how much sticking out of the water. Ooh. The wind is whistling through the, the fence behind me here. So I remember seeing pictures of ships coming through with um, wind turbine blades last year, but I didn't get to put eyes on them. So thank you, Argo, for finding us this. And here I'll pan just a little to the left. Over here by the valley camp. See a white ship, that's the Lake Guardian. And seeing the steel plant in the background, um, there was an accident there today. Uh, we had some really heavy rain earlier and it was coming in sideways. And apparently some of that rainwater came in contact with molten slag. And uh, whenever you take water and really hot metal, liquid metal, you, you get an explosion because it instantly turns to steam. Um, and so I, I think I read someone had to go to the hospital, at least one person. So, and I know about that, well, because of the news, but I know about that reaction because um, when I was younger, uh, my dad and I had a small business making uh, bullets, le hard cast lead bullets for competition shooters, pistol shooters. So that was always something we had to watch. You're dealing with 640, 650 degree lead. 
to not uh, have any water nearby. So there we go, story time with Cody. There we are. So on that note, my final look. Still don't know who that is, but I'm gonna turn around here and see why Argo was pulling on me so much. What? <laughs> now he sits. He pulled on me the whole time. <laughs> and now he sits. Oh. And here's the uh, part of the car by dock. Of course, it goes way around there. I know they were hoping slash planning to have this usable, I think this year. So like the cruise ships can dock like the Viking Arcantis, <laughs> which is now plying the Great Lakes again. So that'd be really cool if they're able to dock here. Oh, see the fence dog it almost matches you. Can't go. That's going to do it. We're going to mosey on, finish up this walk. So I guess we'll finish up the view of the hydro plant here. So have a great day. <laughs> we will, well, we'll see you soon.